Josephine Kulea is a Kenyan women rights campaigner. She was rescued from female genital mutilation and forced marriage as a child. Kulea grew up in the village among the Samburu people in Kenya. Her upbringing saw her witness her female classmates and neighbors getting married off at a tender age. The Samburu people of Kenya have a tradition of beading. This is whereby male relatives give young girls beaded necklaces. They then force them to undergo FGM and later marry them. Any children born from these arrangements are killed after birth. As a result, she was saved from these practices by a local priest. Together with another girl of her age, the Catholic Church sent them off to a boarding school in Meru. A life took a toll at Materi Girls Secondary School, where she was amazed by the culture shock. After her father died two years later, her uncles wished to force her to marry, but her mother refused and made sure she stayed at school. Kulea went on to attend the Madari Consolata Nursing School in Nyeri. At the age of 15, she had big dreams of prosperity. When I was 15, I was in high school, third year of high school actually, and uh, I dreamed to go to the university so that I could study and do, um, a, 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 be, become a medical uh, health officer. And uh, uh, so, so that, at that moment, I was just creating my own big dreams, but um, a little did I know the plans to get me married. So uh, that was me at 15. After graduating as a nurse, she refused an arranged marriage to a businessman. The interesting mother of two, a pretty melanin girl and a boy, embarked on a journey to rescue girls who were victims of the barbaric practice. In 2008, one of the first rescues she carried out was of her two cousins, one of whom was to be married at the age of 10. Days later, she recalls getting information that the sister of the cousin, who was seven years old, had been made to replace her. She managed to save the girl and had her angles, who were behind the practice, arrested. The passion and love for humanity made her start the Samburu Girls Foundation in 2012. My name is Dr. Josephine Kulea. I'm the founder of the Samburu Girls Foundation. Samburu Girls Foundation is an organization that rescues girls from harmful cultural practices. We bring them to the rescue center where we are right now. This is their second home from home and we enroll them to schools and we work with them from primary to university level. Kulea works alongside the police in rescuing the girls. She relies on a network of informants to let them know when illegal practices are taking place. Over 90% of the girls in Samburu County go through FGM at a very young age or right before. To be circumcised with other four girls who are my cousins. To force me to be married by an, an old man. Then I was to be circumcised on that morning. I was to be circumcised the following morning. So the next day I will be married off. The person who circumcised me had destroyed my genitals. It was so painful. I went through FGM when I when I was nine years old. I felt I wanted to run away, but I, I did not have anywhere to go. Everywhere I was, was in pain. Then I bled for about two months. I was nine years old when I, I became pregnant. I gave birth to my, to my baby. In our culture, if a girl is not circumcised and you get pregnant, when you deliver that baby, she will be going to be killed. The amazing work she did, from using her own salary to run the foundation, and her acknowledgments and recognitions, both nationally and internationally. That's the kind of young leadership that we need. I'm hopeful because of a young woman named Josephine Kulea. So Josephine founded Samburu Girls Foundation, and she's already helped to rescue over a thousand girls from abuse and forced marriage and help place them in schools. A member of the Samburu tribe herself, she's personally planned rescue missions to help girls as young as six years old. And she explains that the longer a girl is in school, everything from her, for her, for her income, for her family, for this country, everything changes. She gives me hope. Kulea has since interacted with different prominent people who cherish our work. Like many people have joined us in rescuing more vulnerable girls who are still facing challenges with acquiring education due to cultural practices.
Kulea's struggle continues as she is in a race to end child marriage in Samburu County and Kenya at a large. I was a child bride, so I know uh, that uh, ending child marriage is a very important because not just for me, but because of my community, my country, and Africa as a whole. Uh, because if, if we don't educate more women, we the poverty cycle continues, and uh, more women continue depending on the men, and uh, we, are, we we as a continent will not develop. So basically, we we hope that. Uh, um, that more girls can be allowed to continue the education to the farthest level they can so that they are able to be more productive and uh, more um, uh, developmental and also contribute to the development of the, of the continent. She has set a best foot forward into politics and has been duly nominated by the Democratic Action Party of Kenya to contest for the position of women representative for Samburu County. As she eyes the seat in the coming general elections, will her fight continue? Will a favorite quote remain to be, when you educate a man, you educate an individual. When you educate a woman, you educate a nation.